it's October guys. I'm so very excited. As you can see, I like October. It's one of my favorite months ever. And so I figured this month or on this vlog, I would talk more about the crafts that I claim to love so much. I've always loved the creative process. I've talked about that. I'm not going to go into that. You guys really don't want to hear it. I'm just going to show off some stuff that I've made that I'm very proud of. I've, I've tried a lot of stuff as far as craft wise. I, I've tried sewing. I'm not so, not so good at sewing. Uh, cross stitching. I've gotten a lot better at that. I enjoy it. It's a very slow process though. I'm not very good at painting. Unless it's by numbers. Then excellent. Give it to me. I like paper crafts. I'm good with um, scrapbooking. I've dabbled a little bit in jewelry making. There's a few things I've made that I'm kind of proud of. Like, Oh gosh, these are so girly. I would never wear them. I don't know why I made them. And some earrings I've made a while back. Yeah, they're warblers. But my favorite, ultimate, all-time, numero uno craft is stenciling. Now, when I explain the process to a lot of people, they automatically go, Oh, it's like screen printing. Kind of, but not really. I guess I can see it, but the process is so much more tedious and time-consuming but for me, it's so much more rewarding because I know how much work I put into every single thing I've made as far as stencils go. And it just makes it so much more worth it to me. Uh, I've done things from tote bags to t-shirts. You can stencil on jeans, on denim. It's pretty much, if you can iron onto the cloth, you can stencil it. A few of the things I've done. Here's a tote bag that I made. Now, if you're a 90s child, like I am, you should know what this is. If you don't know, I'm just not going to tell you. Let's see. Um, I like stenciling and stuff for fandoms I'm a part of or that I enjoy. For example, here's a shirt I made a while ago. It's very easy. Let's see. Uh, if you're familiar with Ross Lynch from the Disney Channel show, Austin and Allie, he's in a band with some of his family members called R5. I've made them shirts that are very similar to this. This is a test shirt, but they do all have one of these shirts. More recently, you, um, if any of you are Star Kid fans, you would you would probably recognize this one, but I recently made about two dozen of these, and this is probably one of the more difficult stencils I've ever had to do because it's several layers and you have to wait a full 24 hours in between layers before you iron on and paint over, and and then there's touch-ups. I each shirt, if I were to do them one at a time would have taken about three days to do. And I managed to get 24 done in about a month. So, I didn't do too bad. I still have a 40 hour a week job. And last, I guess one of the more recognizable ones that I've ever made. This shirt, I made my first one a little over a year and a half ago. So this design, this shirt, it kind of flipped my entire perception of crafts around. I loved them before, but I had no idea that something I would make would blow up the way it did. Having made almost 300 of these shirts total has been a I'm reluctant to say life-changing but to be honest it has changed my life in a lot of ways it's brought me friends that I never would have had before 
It's taught me some valuable lessons about befriending people who have bad intentions. Plus, when I started making this shirt, that's when I started the whole weight loss journey, too. And 72 pounds later, a year and a half, I just can't even, I still can't believe everything that this one design means. If there is anything you guys want me to talk about, like I said, I say this at the end of every video, let me know. Because I racked and racked my brain about this one probably for a good week and a half before deciding maybe I should actually show that I enjoy crafts rather than just talking about them. So yeah. Bye guys.